the heavies and some not so super and not so heavy in the ring. At the same time, they're at the same time, I should say, are eight men, and then follows the thinning process. Needless to say, the lone survivor is the winner. Leading the parade into the ring is the crowd's number one favorite. You know who. There he is, the one they've been waiting for. It just remains for me to say that the total body weight in the ring approximately is 2,142 pounds. Gentlemen, I'm getting out of the ring and I'd just like to say, may the best man win. Thank you. If I was him, I'd get out of the ring too fast. Unlimited time, no falls, no submissions, no rounds. A system of elimination, of course. A wrestler must be projected over the top rope. And the last wrestler standing in the ring is the winner. One of these eight enormous characters. Big Jim Harris, the Mississippi Mauler. Dave Reese, the referee inside the ring. Don Murphy outside it to signal to Dave Reese when a man has been put out correctly over the top rope. King Kendo there. If you know anything about him, he wouldn't talk to me. And here goes the bell. No rounds, remember, unlimited time. And it's just a matter of who goes for who. It's Tony Francis going for Big Daddy at first. Now it's Man Mountain Dean going for Daddy. Back to, back to Mel, Mel Stewart. And in the middle, it's big Jim Harris thinking he's got it made there. Tony Francis has tried that twice on the right. And Man Mountain Dean trying Big Daddy. And Mel Stewart again. But no chance. Two of them at one. Francis comes in, but he wishes he hadn't. And he's out. He's out now, almost, but he will be. He's out. And Francis is out. Tony Francis eliminated, therefore it means that uh, seven to go. Big John Cox coming towards us here against Harris. Tries a headbutt, but misses. King Kendo, there he is, at Mal Stewart now. Is somebody else out? Yes, it's Man Mountain Dean is gone, leaving six. King Kendo going, and Stewart being, being posted almost there by Daddy. Oh, Stuart lands quite the long way in a the corner there. Tars and Johnny Wilson in this corner with Kendo bashing him. There's another one out there on the other side, and it's Mel Stewart. John Cox is out, so it leaves just four left. King Kendo, Johnny Wilson, Mississippi Mora, and Big Daddy. But Johnny... Johnny Wilson's gone, and it's Daddy against Kendo, but Harris is still there. Harris, the Mississippi Mauler. Now this might take a bit longer, he's 
<laughs> and he's out. King Kendo's gone. So it's Daddy versus the Mississippi Mauler for the final moments here. Great fun. The crowd thoroughly enjoying this. And it's now a question of whether Big Daddy can deal with the Mississippi Mauler. Not going to be so easy for either of these men, of course, with no help at all now, getting the other great big 20-yard stoner out over the top rope, which is essential to score here. Both can take that quite a bit. Daddy might have met his match there. The ring moving back and forwards, a clutch hold, and a slam to Daddy. And Harris out, but, but it's no good because he's got to come in again. He's got to be eliminated only over the top rope. I think Harris wanted to get out then. <laughs> this time he's gone. Big Daddy timed his bars very well, and it's Daddy the winner. And it only took him three minutes, 25 seconds. Oh. 